Ladies and gentlemen, TUBSA proudly present to you the second edition of the biggest event of Christ deemed to be university, Karen Shia 2018, title sponsored by SPAR Hypermarket. Karen Shia has successfully surfaced as its brand in itself by invoking participation of more than 600 students from different institutions across India and 76 teams participating from 22 different universities abroad. This year, the two-day extravaganza will witness the coalescence of the finest exponents of cultural, social science and managerial acumen as they compete in a series of events to emerge victorious. And to mark this auspicious occasion, we have amongst us Mr. Rajiv Krishnan, Managing Director and CEO of Max Hypermarket and Spar India. Sir has over 20, 30 years of experience in the field of global retail and consumer background. His experience and unique leadership skills over decades has delivered cutting edge results in consumer goods and retail business. I deem it my honor and privilege to welcome our chief guest. Sir, on behalf of CUBSA, I welcome you. Mr. Rajiv Krishnan is the Managing Director and CEO of Spa India and Max Hypermarket. He has had over 30 years of experience in the global retail and consumer background. He was the Group Vice President at Target Operations, Executive Vice President at Bharti Retail, which is a part of the Bharti Walmart venture, and Senior Expert for McKinsey's Retail. His journey with Target, Walmart, McKinsey and Spa has helped him develop well-rounded global consumer knowledge and retail domain expertise. Innovation and differentiation built on the foundation of strong teams and great merchandising have been at the core of his journey all these years. He was recently awarded India's most trusted CEO of 2018 by WCRC International Group. Mr. Rajiv and his team have embarked on a journey to deliver a distinctive retail experience for their customers. We now call upon Mr. Rajiv Krishnan to address the gathering. Good morning. We try again. Good morning. I thought this was supposed to be 50 years of the celebration. Let's try again. Good morning. Where's the energy? Uh, come on, one more time. Good morning. I'll get you woken up before we run, uh, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Lakshmi, Ananya, to all the professors, uh, teachers of Christ, uh, Team University, students. This has to be one of the most uh, humbling days of my career. And I know you wouldn't expect to hear that. And I know right now you're worried about the, all the activities that are supposed to start pretty soon, but I, I am going to share a little bit about my personal life, a little bit, a um, little bit about what I believe is required in us nowadays in life and um, Spar's journey, because I think all three are connected. I wasn't going to share this today, but uh, somebody did. And they said, you know, I got awarded um, what I did last week which was, um, I didn't know how to you know, accept it because to be one of the most trusting leaders in any sense has got to be uh, one of the most you know, precious things that any teacher can possibly get. But when I got that award, apart from celebrating with my team, because it wasn't us, by the way, SPAR also got the top, we were ranked in the top 30, 30 brands in India. After sharing the success with my team a little bit, the first person who came to my mind was my late principal, Reverend Nelapathy from St. Joseph's College. He was a principal there. He was the first person that came to my mind. This same Rajiv Krishnan was a complete failure when he was 10 or 11. I had no confidence, curly hair, buck teeth. I was shorter than every girl in my class. I'm not kidding. I couldn't speak in front of one person one person, I couldn't. 
My parents were divorced. I did not have a very strong family foundation. But I was blessed with those mentors and some friends in life. Those five years at Joseph's, and I was at Joseph's. Anybody from Joseph's here, by the way? Yay, there you go. Good, good, good. You guys better do well, huh? Uh, hey, listen, I, I mean, that's my college here. Yeah? Um, and you better go back and tell somebody what I, what I am saying today. Those five years, and I was telling Jyoti Ma'am this morning also, defined me more than anything else I have done in my life. Anything else in my life. And I proudly say that. I confidently say that. And I think that's one of the reasons I chose to, and we at SPAR chose to be part of this function. We are not sponsors of any event. We're here to support, collaborate, and work with our future. And you are the future. If Reverend Nelapathy hadn't given me that opportunity to believe in myself, to push me, to drive me, and he did it in a very silent way. He was very strict, by the way, but he loved me. I was part of the cultural team. Oh, by the way, those days, I think Joseph's and Christ were the two best uh, rock groups in India. We were one of the best cultural teams in India, and Joseph's normally came first. No disrespect to you guys, but you were a close second. Anyway, you, can't, you can't win everything in life, you know, but, uh, but even today, and, and I hope I can leave you with that inspiration saying, you're not just here to study today. You will only realize when you get to my spot years later in life possibly, because this, these experiences is about relationships, it's about adversity, it's about challenges, it's about innovation, it's about creativity. And fundamentally, I think it's about believing in yourself. I was, I was very pleasantly surprised and, and, and happy to hear when Ma'am just said, believe in yourself. And I strongly believe in that. Because you can get any job based on your CV or getting through an interview. But trust me, you will never be successful in your life if you don't believe in yourself and figure out how to manage other people. That is the crux of life. I mean, every interview that I personally do, and I, and I do interviews all the way down every level in our company, it's only to find out about the person I'm meeting, not about the CV I'm looking at. I never look at a CV beyond 30 seconds. I don't. Because I want to find out about the individual and how they are going to contribute and add value for themselves first, and then the organization, and then society. So I ask each of you sitting up here, I may never see any of you again. I might. But maybe one year, two years, five years, 10 years down the road, one of you can come and say, you remember what you said that day? I am making a difference somewhere, and I feel good about myself. Secondly, you know, I started this thing with trying to get you all pumped up. For me, it was not about the noise. I'm in awe standing here. I had a dream also one day. When I was in college, I had a dream. I'm not trying to imitate Martin Luther King, but I did have a dream. I always wanted to be an actor. I was a stand-up comedian. Now, don't spread all this. If there's any media, please shut it out. <laughs> These are small, small stories of dreams that never happened. I, I wanted to be. So you can imagine when you're an actor, what do you want to do? This is life, man. So as soon as I walked in, I looked at Pearl and Sola, I said, I am dead and I'm going to heaven. <laughs> now, I don't know what I'm going to say up here, but when you, when you see the power of what is sitting in front of you, I wish you could come and stand here with me right now. Come and stand here with me and see what I'm seeing. I see our future if only you choose to do something with it. And at SPAR two years back, and we're a very simple group of people. You come and meet us. We're not the who's who of anything, irrespective of any award we've got. We're a simple group, 250 people, who believe in a few fundamental things. The two years back, when I joined SPAR, this, my team and myself sat down and asked ourselves, saying, what did we want to be? You know, every company writes these vision statements. 99% of us don't even know what's on that piece of paper, don't know who wrote it, when, you forget about it, and you keep on doing something else. But I will never forget that meeting. It was just a half an hour meeting, and we wrote down what we believed, and to date, we live it. And the vision simply said we wanted to be the most innovative and engaging hypermarket in India. And you can ask yourselves, or ask me saying, well, so what's the big deal? The reason was based on what's going on in society today. Levels of stress are so high from traffic to pressures of job to salary to family issues to nuclear families, you name it. Shopping was not fun anymore. You know, it's a chore. Inspire said, how can we make a difference in your lives? And selfishly saying, then you'll buy something when you come to Spar. So we said, let's, let's be the most engaging retailer we possibly can be. 
And then the second sentence, I think, was even more important to us than the first. And it simply said, make a difference in the lives of your team, your guests, your communities, and your shareholders. So everything we do, and that's why I came here. When Ananya and the team came and met me last week, I was so proud of them. She doesn't know that. I gave her a hard time. I gave them a hard time. Maybe didn't even give all the money I was supposed to give. Doesn't matter. But I was so proud of what they were trying to do. I'm so proud of what you're trying to do because this is what's going to define a lot. For those of you bored, wake up and make a difference out there somewhere. Do something special. Do something in your communities because the world is changing. The world is not going to be about your intellectual horsepower. It is not going to be. The more you get towards intellect, guess what's happening? We're detaching from our society. We're detaching from each other. I mean, I see it in my own office when we sit next to each other and we don't even know what somebody else is going through right next to us. What kind of society is that? Why, why is life becoming like that? I'm not saying you shouldn't be successful, but be inclusively successful. Take happiness in seeing somebody else win. That power that you will get, and I'm not kidding you, I'm not, I'm not a philanthropist, I'm not a speaker. Trust me, my heart's beating like nobody's business right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. My speech is here, I've not even looked at it. But I'm imploring all of you, I'm imploring all of you, make a difference in your family starting tomorrow. Make a difference in your school in some small way. You know, you don't have to be in the union or be the secretary or the leader to say you're a leader. You can be a leader of the heart, you can be a leader of the mind. Make a difference in your community in some small way. Because if you don't, society will just break up on its own, and it is happening. Don't let it happen. So without preaching much more, it's an honor. It's an honor, absolute honor. I never thought I would, Joseph's, <laughs> I never thought I would come to Christ College and do what I'm doing, but you, you don't know what you've done to me. It's a small dream. You let me fulfill it. And to all of you from all the different schools, colleges, universities, international students, to the entire faculty here, have a blast and go make a difference out there. Love you guys and thank you so much.